So we are here at CHA's Mega Show 2015 in Anaheim, California, and this lovely creative mess you see here <laughs> is by a very creative gal that she's going to show off some of her new products. And uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek of what the table looks like when she gets to work. <laughs> so this is her, the lovely Dina Wakely. Take it away. Hi, I'm Dina Wakely, and this is authentic. In <laughs> fact, this is cleaner than normal. <laughs> Do I dare admit that? Too late. Yeah, I, I work in a bit of a little creative chaos, but that's what I do. But I want to show you what I have new. So last show we introduced 12 paint colors. So for this show we just introduced a couple new ones. We did metallic. So let me move this stuff on dig here. We've got the original 12 colors, and then we did three metallics, and then we did black. My original line I did not add black paint to because I don't use it that often. Uh, but you know, it's been a year, so time to add the black. I promised everybody that it would come. And it's here. So the metallics are fun, they're on trend, they're really hot, they're just they're great as a final layer. And you know, all your little craft projects are great with this metallic. So that's the new acrylic. So let me show you my happy clap thing. Uh, this this is my happy clap. So this is a fine line tip applicator. They come two in a package, so you get two for about 10 bucks. And what they do is they screw right onto my tubes of paint and they make every tube of paint a pen. So how awesome is that? If you've ever had the problem um, that you put oil pastel over everything and then all of a sudden you go to write and you can't write on oil pastel. Uh, or you have lumps and bumps or you just want something dimensional because this will kind of be like puff paint and it will make it nice and bumpy and get you some really great texture. It turns this into a pen. So let me show you how it works. You, you're gonna get your paint tube that looks like this. You're gonna take this lid off. You can either put it in a Ziploc or just throw it away. I threw mine away. And you're gonna screw this, this tip on. Once the tip is on your tube, you know, people say, how do you wash it? You don't. You leave it on the tube. It's on the tube. You can switch a color if you need to, but um, don't, don't, you know, don't take it off. It needs to stay on because there get, there's paint inside the tube that will dry out if you take it off and leave it. Okay? okay. So you, the lid unscrews and in the lid is a needle. Okay? So there's a needle in this lid here. And when you, when you're done using it, you've got to thread the needle into the needle that's in the tip and then that way it will never clog. I live in Arizona, it's very dry where I live, no clogging, I promise. So that is the tip. Now what I do is I shake the paint down into the needle, okay, because if you have air in there it just spits on you, sputters a little bit, and then you squeeze and out comes paint and it's great for drawing, writing. I was telling Diane Reevely once that I really don't like to, to doodle. And she said to me, well, you know, you can, you can make a polka dot. And I was like, you're right, I can make a polka dot. <laughs> and so now I'm addicted to polka dots. So I can come here and add polka dots. Let me give you a little tip too. So as I make these polka dots, because my paint has a very heavy body, those polka dots have a point, don't they? And they will dry like that. I think they look like little Hershey's Kisses. So I think that's kind of adorable, personally. But if you want them to not look like a Hershey's Kiss, if you'd rather have them look like an enamel dot, um, you, you, you flick the bottom. And see how that flattens them out and it makes them look more like an enamel dot? Isn't that kind of cool? Let me flick it a little harder. So now they look like an enamel dot. Isn't that great? And it will dry exactly like that. Now people say to me, how long will that take to dry? And my response is, where do you live? You know, I live in Arizona. Right. We have no humidity. It, it, it's gonna dry pretty quickly. If you're on the East Coast where it's humid, it's gonna take a little longer. Don't heat it with a heat tool. Um, acrylic is plastic and it will bubble and go be goofy. So don't heat it, just set it aside. This is why I work on 20 things at once. If that needs to dry, that goes over here, I pick up the next thing, and I work on that. That's just how I operate. I work in five journals at a time. I work on 40 million tags at a time. And that's just, you know, I wait for the paint to dry. That's what I do. I have new stamps and stencils as well, of course, because stamps are like uh, scrapbooking crack. <laughs> you get one and you feel good for a day, and then you gotta have more the next day, right? So I've got new stamps and stencils that you can use with your artwork as well. Can I show you one more thing? Do we have time for one more? Whatever you okay. Like to show. So I love to use 
my acrylic paint with my stamps. So sometimes people are intimidated by paint. You really shouldn't be. It's simple. Uh, you don't have to paint the Mona Lisa. You're just making a couple of colors and a couple of background textures, okay? But I'm going to use my new stamps and I'm just going to apply paint to my stamp and make a really pretty card. So I'm going to add a little paint to my stamp and I'm going to use the mini blending tool. And it just makes it easy. You can put it on with a brush or even with your finger. Um, but I find if I use the blending tool, I get a more even coat, just better results at the end. And then I don't consider these little foamy things disposable. When I'm done for the day, I throw them in my paint water, rinse them out, let them dry, use them again. So, you know, I mean, I'm sure Ranger won't mind if you want to buy a million. <laughs> um, but, you know, you really can wash them out, keep using them. So I'm going to add the green. I think there might even be a little blue in there. Because at this point, I've got, I've made a mess everywhere, but that's how I operate. Okay, and then I'm going to add one spritz of water. Okay, so I'm going to take my mister and just... And notice I move my hand, I don't hold it one spot and soak it. Move my hand, light spritz. Let's put it on this background right here. So I never waste my paint and ink, so I always have tags with uh, stuff wiped on them. And then I'm going to stamp it and spray again. And the more water you add, the more your stamped images will look like you've watercolored them. And then you've got a really simple uh, focal point or a card or you know item for your journal page and I just it'll be opaque because you've used the acrylic because my acrylic has an opacity to it it's not I mean if you put any paint on with a wet brush it's gonna look transparent because the water is gonna thin that paint so that's why I always use a dry brush um, and then you know that's gonna still be more opaque than than like a, a you know a regular dye based ink will so that is uh, using the acrylic with and then on stamp. these like these um here were those done as like a resist to no that is actually the exact same thing i just showed oh, you but just okay. with this stamp and different color yeah awesome and Easy. i understand you have a new book out do you want to share yeah that i would love to so this is my new book it came out in november um published by Northlight f and Publishing. And this book goes over everything that you're afraid to do, everything that you think you can't do, but that I know that you can, like drawing faces. Uh, I tell everybody I can't draw, but you know, I kind of can now because I've practiced and that's what this book will show you. It will give you the foundation. And there's layering in here, there's using photographs, there's all kinds of fun techniques in my book. So I hope you get it and try it. Let me know how your art is doing. Uh, with with the book too, so. and a little sneak peek for everybody at Paper Crafters Corner. I got this book the day before I came to CHA, and we will be reviewing it in the next month. So stay tuned for that, and uh, hopefully we get to share some projects that we create. Thanks so much, Dina, Thank and uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.